What's going on guys? Eric here. We got Chris right here. And guys, we're actually just chilling right now watching the Warriors game. Go Warriors for all those Ooh. Warrior fans out there. I can't like help to not watch the game too. So uh, keeping it authentic with the, just not even doing my hair or anything. But uh, you know, I love you guys. I love doing this show. So I have to take a break and actually do the show. So uh, I wanted to welcome you to episode number four on the Chris and Eric show. I'm trying to embrace, I'm trying to, uh, what's it called? Emulate uh, Gary Vee, <laughs> just kidding. But the Chris and Eric show, embracing the new era of fitness. And this is episode four, and we're gonna be talking about how to visualize your life like a movie. And we'll kind of get more into the details on what we mean by that and give you some more context. But we're gonna also talk about the difference between a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset for those that don't know what that means. It's really, really powerful stuff. But I wanna open up with an amazing quote by John Asroff. You guys don't know who John Asroff is? Just Google him and go look at him. He is brilliant. So I always wanna give credit where credit is due. And it's like, I'm not gonna sit here and butcher this guy's quote. So I literally have his quote written right here. So I make sure I read it right. So his quote goes, are you priming your brain daily? Priming your brain means that every day when you wake up, you should look at your goals, your vision, and your big why and get emotionally attached to them. What you want to do is play a mental movie of seeing yourself achieving the goal that you want to achieve. I want you to see your goal clearly. Why? Because when you see it in your mind, that's when you'll project it out into the real world. That's when your behavior starts to change and it becomes your new reality. Whoo, if we had a mic, we'd be like, boom. Drop. That is powerful. Just right when he says, what you want to do is play a mental movie of seeing yourself achieving the goal that you want to achieve. Powerful. Powerful stuff. Powerful. So what we kind of want to talk about is exactly what John's talking about is, you know, looking at your, your, your life, your lifestyle, your goals, like a mental movie, like a motion picture, right? We go to the movies on, to see a big screen picture, right? That's a motion picture right there. It tells an entire story. You can do the same exact thing with your goals, your life, with your fitness journey, everything like that, right? Um, so it, it, you can call this pretty much visualization. You can call this priming your mind. You can call this recharging your mind. You can call this pa uh, positive uh, visualization or positive affirmations. I mean, it's all kind of the, down the same alley, right? And, and we're just, we're huge on it because we do this every single morning, kind of visualizing, priming our mind with our goals, um, with everything in, in our life, right? And you guys can do the same thing too. And I really highly recommend doing this. And you can do this through like a vision board. You can do this through positive affirmations written on a piece of paper on, um, you know, a white piece of paper or a board. You can do it on a, a screensaver on your phone, you know, like a backsplash on it that shows like a positive, um, you know, affirmations or some sort of visualization that keeps your, your, your brain primed, you know, for your goals. And, and the reason why this is so important is because if you do this in the morning, um, I think it's most important because in the morning, right, our, our brain is fresh and just think about what, how many thoughts go through our head throughout the entire day with work, <laughs> relationships, stress, um, whatever it is, right? There's so many different thought processes going through our head. So if we do this in the morning, our brain and our mind is fresh, it's clear. So we can sit there and, and look at these positive af affirmations, this visualization, this motion picture of our lifestyle, our lifestyle, our dreams, our goals, our fitness journey, whatever it is. And we can sit there and actually prime our mind for the day to actually sit there and take small steps each day to get to that motion picture and actually live inside that movie, right? Same thing with that night, I'm a big believer of this, is you need to kind of sit there and go back and look at those uh, positive affirmations, visualize your goals <laughs> at night as well too, because then what's gonna happen is you're gonna ha just be thinking about it too, you know, like you're gonna be dreaming about it and you're gonna go to sleep just kind of fired up about that. Now, some other ways to kind of go about this too that I've experimented <clears throat> with is you can even read a biography. I think that's a really good thing to do um, the night before because a biography isn't gonna have your brain thinking so much like as if you're reading like some sort of business book or something like that, right? A biography is gonna kind of sit there and, and prime your mind when you go to sleep to be like, well, I'm, I'm reading this type of success story from somebody because they've done it before. So that leaves you going to bed kind of fired up and thinking like, you know what? I just read something very positive. It, it, it just primed my mind to think that, you know what, I can do this, that success is real. It happened from somebody else. Why can't I have the same success? 
I don't know if you have anything to add to that. Yeah, I think even another great one is having, uh, just creating a vision board, right? And there's so many different ways to do that. You can actually cut out, uh, you know, things, different pictures, uh, quotes, words for magazines. Uh, you can type things up and just do it yourself and just get creative. But I think having a vision board, you know, in your room to where you can <clears throat> literally wake up in the morning and just go look at it to prime your nervous system, I mean, excuse me, to, prime your, to prime your subconscious and just remind yourself daily that those are your goals, those are your visions, that that's what you're ultimately trying to work towards. I mean, it's powerful stuff, it really is. And you're so fresh out of just waking up out of you know six to eight hours of sleep to where it's like, you know, you're, you wanna feed your brain, brain good positive stuff. So I think a vision board is just really, really awesome. Yeah, exactly. So you could do this for goals like we talked about, but just understand though, like with goal setting <laughs> and, and kind of, you could get yourself in trouble as well with these goals. Um, you could sit there and be constantly distracted by always trying to achieve like, you know, certain amounts of goals. And I think that there's, there's times and places for goals with this. So you got to understand like time and place. Maybe it's not good for you personally to, to look at your goals in the morning and at night. Maybe just try in the morning. Maybe just try at night. You got to experiment a little bit because I myself have gone down that path where it's like I try to set too many goals. I look at it morning and night and I put too much pressure on myself and I forget about embracing the present. So it takes me out of the present because I'm so goal focused, right? I'm so I'm so focused on looking at the future. So just just play around with it like 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 we're kind of talking about. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. So I don't know, you want to get into the growth mindset? Yeah, fixed absolutely. Mindset? Let's, Let's go ahead and segue into the difference uh, between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. So um, I'll actually just cover the fixed mindset. So a fixed mindset is pretty much an example of somebody being in survival mode, right? So you're very close-minded and you're stuck to your belief system, your ego gets in the way, uh, maybe you were brought up by your parents to where you know, you're know you only able to you know really comprehend and, and really believe certain things. Or it could be from you know past traumas that you might have had from just you know losing a loved one, maybe just being you know emotionally abused, um, you know verbally abused. So you're kind of living in that fixed mindset to where you only want to believe you know what you see, and you know you're really just kind of like envisioning the world the way you think it is when it's probably absolutely different and you know a 360 from what you think it is so that's an example of a fixed mindset it's just really just being closed-minded not being open to you know coaching not being open to you know learning new concepts and you know new lifestyle and personal development habits and, and a growth mindset is exactly the opposite of that it, it, it's because you're open to coaching you're open to, to um, change you're open to um, different types of experiences different <clears throat> philosophies how you can intertwine them with your philosophies your core uh, values your beliefs, everything like that. So it's just um, the growth mindset is constantly always wanting to learn, always wanting to get yeah. better um, as a whole, you know, not in just one uh, category. You just want to be a better person overall, just getting 1% better. So we highly recommend picking the growth mindset over the fixed mindset. It's not easy to do this overnight because of Eric's, what Eric said, the fixed mindset comes from, you know, beliefs, the way our parents raised us, um, past traumas, education systems, stuff like that. So it takes a long time to kind of build up that ladder to get to that growth yeah, mindset. Yeah, and Chris and I were there, you know, for a long period of time too. So we know how it is to live in that, you know, fixed mindset to where it's just, you're very, very stubborn and just in your own ways and you're just really not open to change and, and growth and being, uh, being helped and coached by, you know, other people. So, uh, you know, we highly encourage you that, you know, that to really just, you know, try to just you know use that concept of a growth mindset and even maybe just make a visual of it somewhere and put it somewhere to remind you each day right to just you know 1% just get better towards that growth mindset i mean it's not going to happen overnight there's no way in hell so you know be patient with it don't force it and just let it come to you but uh definitely just you know consider being in that growth mindset because i promise you it will just fulfill your life so much more and give you that that just like large uh, you know just percentage and just like you know package of inner peace. It really really will. So major take home points from this talk today is the first one what we talked about you know positive affirmations, uh, visualizations, recharging your brain, priming your mindset. Try to sit there and just experiment with either looking at your goals or a vis visualization of what you want your lifestyle to be. Like John Astroff talked about, a motion picture, right? A movie of your lifestyle, your goals, your fitness journey. Try doing this um, in the morning because your brain's fresh or at night to experiment a little bit with that. 
And then um, the, the last take home is just really think about kind of erring towards uh, that growth mindset just because you're gonna be better off going towards the growth mindset because you're gonna be open to coaching, open to change, and you're gonna get 1% um, better every single day in all aspects of life. So if you want more information kind of on what we talk about with visualization, creating a, a crystal clear mindset, developing a relentless mindset, and even um, you know, kind of fostering more of this growth mindset, check out our book, thenewerafitness.com. We'll post it um, below in the comment box and the description box. So just check that out if you want, you know, if you want to sit there and get better in these type of aspects and enhance your mindset. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video and make sure you click the link below in the description box so you can join the dynamic community. With the dynamic community, we give out a bunch of information every single week. We have an exclusive newsletter that we send out every Friday called Five Random Thoughts where it's just five different little things that, er that Eric and I are pondering through the week, whether articles, podcasts, rants, uh, purchases that we're excited about. So it's really cool. A lot of people like them. And then we're just always giving out different content within training, nutrition, lifestyle, mindset, personal development, everything like that. So make sure that you join the DDT community and get all this stuff absolutely free and benefit off of it. Come join the community.